All right, so uh, this is Colony Ship, a post-Earth role-playing game uh, by Iron Tower Studio. You may be familiar with. Uh, it's a turn-based, party-based role-playing thing, kind of like an old Fallout, I suppose, kind of a st- style thing. Uh, pretty heavy on the dialogue, and we're on a uh, we're on a big ship, cyberpunky kind of a thing, and we're gonna run around. And it's one of those games that I like. It it's um it's rough. It will it will beat you down, um, especially combat. You know, uh, there's a few options that can kind of adjust some of that, some of the RNG as part of it. But, you know, just just a fair warning. So it's to come out here in early access on the 6th. I played this one, actually, about a year ago. They had a demo that was I think it was a year ago. They had a demo that showed off. It was just like a combat demo. And um, I, uh, I did a video on it. About, well, about a year ago, and we saw that part. Now we got like a few missions. We can actually hire people to join our party, and there's, there's quite a bit of stuff in here. So I thought it was worth checking out again for, in honor of the early access release. So let's let's honor that early access release and take a look at some colony ship, shall we? Uh, one of the things I want to show, though, um, kind of, actually kind of surprising. It's really surprising to see this many options in an early access thing. I mean, a lot of times there's like two buttons. Age of Decadence, that's, that's, that's them. Um, Bloom is the worst, but we'll uh, we'll do that. Like, VZ probably needs to get on. Um, yeah, there's all kinds of things we can do in here. And one of the things we can set up here is is the RNG type. Do you want a heavily adjusted? Limits the number of consecutive misses in a row based on your THC. Applies to your many enemies as well. Uh, lightly adjusted, or we can just go true random RNG. XCOM style, I guess. So yeah, yeah interesting, interesting. Um, interesting that that's, that is a thing. Uh, especially this early in the development, but anyway, let's let's build ourselves a character. So uh, we got a lot of you know options here. I'll try to kind of breeze through this to uh, to you know get into the game. But my name's going to be um, well, Nook. I'm very very creative. Uh, that kind of looks like me. <laughs> um, sorry, I got jokes. Uh, ooh, that guy was good with the, with the eye thing. Yeah, that's cool. That's cool. Okay. Wear my mask. Very, very modern. And uh, I think I'm going to look like... Uh, well, um, sure, that guy. And, and um, you know, the bald's good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And a bit of a beard. There we go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Some tattoos. Yeah, give me a few of those. I can't see. I can't see. Oh, wait. We can zoom in. There we go. That's good. That's good. That's good. Uh, give me, like, five scars. That'll work. And uh, do I want gloves or not? Yeah, everyone in the future wears gloves. Okay, goes with my mask. All right, so we got stat points to spend. Uh, as we spend them, we can see what they what they adjust down here, like melee damage or whatever. Uh, we have skills over here as well. We also have feats that we can choose from on the side uh, out here. So there's a lot of things to pick here. Um, I think we're gonna go with uh, we're just gonna go with like a like a shooty a shooty guy. So let's put in some hit points. We'll put in some dex stuff. Um, Perception probably would be useful to have. And uh, it tells us the number of skills we can have. That seems like a good thing to have. We've got a couple skills there. Yeah, yeah. Charisma is is uh, personal magnetism. Oh, yeah. I can have two followers that way. Can I get a third one that way? We can have one initial disposition. Sure. And a couple strength. Uh, um, let's go with uh, skills here. I'm going to go with... I want a shotgun. Yeah, give me a give me a point and shotgun. Yeah, that's cool. Uh, and I'd also like some evasion. I think would be nice to have. And that's all I get. Double my learning rate by by checking that box. But we can also put skills into it. I'll put a skill into armor. Getting to know your gear will hasten your shuffle to a jog and make you quicker in combat. Sounds like a good idea. Uh, and different situations that require different faces. Be the person you need to be, at least until you get what you want. Oh, yeah, yeah. I, this guy's face, he blends in with anything. No one would know he blends into a crowd. No one would see him coming. Uh, for our feats, um... Oh, gifted. I like the sound of that. Uh, four extra action points dedicated to movement in combat. That sounds like a good thing to have. Uh, more extra action points in the first turn. Cuts reload, actions, evasion, reaction, initiative, crit... That's, oh, that's, that's Lone Wolf. I can only... That's only when I work alone. Um, only boost my party members. Um, not cover, ballistic resistance. On a kill, I get a chance for, oh, yeah, yeah. On kill, plus six action points. Let's take that one. Or max implants, plus one. How many can I have? Max implants. I can have three. 
Okay. Um, yeah, yeah. Let's take the uh, let's let's take the extra action points when I kill something. Yeah. Okay. The year of our Lord, 2754. You will never see, never feel the sun's warmth under a blue sky, never hear the wind in the branches of a tree, never swim in the ocean because you had the merciful fortune to be born on a ship. You've never seen Earth. You never see Proxima Centauri either. Your past and your future both sacrificed by some dim and nameless ancestor to the greater good of the mission. Starfarer, they call her. Pretty name for a retrofitted interplanetary freighter. She'd already been 20 years in service when she had been rechristened and showing every minute of it. No one is certain the ship will actually reach its destination, and nobody much cares, since no one alive now will live to see it. Fatalism is the prevailing philosophy of the ship born. Okay, so uh, I remember this reading through this thing before. Um, the point of the game, the story of the game, uh, I should say, is we, we left Earth, uh, and we're on our way to, uh, I guess, Proxima Centauri to set up a new, you know, it's a colony ship. Colony ship is the name of the game. Get it? Uh, and we're on that colony ship. It's going to be generations before we get to that spot. Um... And so while we're on this ship, we're in this sort of cyberpunk life. Um, but yeah, we'll skip all this bit. It's fine. I just want to see the game. Um, if you want to see, if you want to read the story, you gotta buy it. I'm sorry. You open your eyes to a gray whole metal ceiling. One panel with which flickers yellow, indicating a day shift. You overslept. Not that it matters. With a grunt, you roll off your stained mattress and open the window. Why is it stained? What I do? Let some fresh air in. Like everything else around you, fresh is relative. The ship does not uh, does its best to recycle air and water, but cargo holds aren't enough, aren't high on her, her high priority list. You breathe in metal and burning oil as you look up. Four of the bridge's six projectors are still operational, shining dully down in the container towers of cargo hold three, known as the pit, the free city. Okay, um, so city, uh, calling the pit of a city is a bit of a stretch. Um, so is that reddish brown liquid water. Okay, let's go find uh, Whiskey Jack. Let's go make our way to a bar and say hello to Whiskey Jack. Get up there and earn a few credits. Okay, let's do it. So we uh, we right-click to walk around, and we can interact with things as we left-click on them. That was loud. Open up our old door and head on out. And uh, it's pretty much an open-world thing. Oh, is that motion blur? Who, who puts that in? Why? Why? It's the worst. There we go. It's a little better. It's a little better. There we go. Okay, okay. Um, so it's it's a yeah, basically open world thing. We've got a um, uh, a map M, which basically shows us where we're over here at the apartment. We got to go talk with Whiskey Jack over here. I think we can just click over there and bounce around, but let's let's explore things. You know, um, let's sit over here and say hello to this guy. Hey, buddy. Another day, eh, Nook? Says Xavier, raising a cup of the black blend of chemicals that is passed for coffee aboard this ship for at least a generation. Yeah, you got any big plans, buddy? I got a job on a diving crew, says Xavier. Taking another sh another sip. They lost two men last week. So they hired me on the spot. Must be my lucky day. Diving? As in diving into the mission control ruins. It's like a maze down there. Sealed doors, corridors, enter empty decks, or entire decks. They cut the power to kill the auto defenses, which did make things easier. Now there's a demand for divers who can open doors the old-fashioned way. Uh, yeah, I gave me some pointers. I'll show you the basics. I get some insights in ancient art of lockpicking. Ah, oh, nice. Thanks, buddy. Well, that was sure nice. Um, they gave me... So the uh, the dev sent me uh, an email with this thing to show me, like, you know, get some tips. And they gave me some, they gave me a few tips um, of who we can go... We can go find some people to join us and all that. And one of them's at that Whiskey Jack, so we'll go there. I'm done with this town, says Charlie. Easy there, Charlie. Uh, two years I've been here, and what do I have to show for it? Nothing. Just hang in there, buddy. You'll be all right. You you wear the same glasses as my, my other friend. All right, he'll be all right. Okay, so we can go down. Ooh, is that? Let's go take a look. They 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 bleak all organic matter, from raced to dead bodies. Well, that's nice. Um, let's go. Uh, let's go ahead over here. Let's go. Well, let's go look over. Um, there's Whiskey Jack right there. Hey, buddy. Uh, hello, sir. Um, a, f a few questions. What do, you, what do you know about that mutiny? Didn't we talk? Did we already talk? Yeah. So we gotta go to, uh, Abe's store. Uh, to Abe's store. Uh, where you at, Abe? You up here? That's the med bay. Abe? Uh, uh, Abe? Let's go find Abe. Abe's store is this way. Bounce up here to Abe and say hello. Uh, hello. 
Hello, Evans. Being a gunfighter is quick and easy way to make a living in the pit. All it takes is a gun and some guts. It's also a quick and easy way to wind up dead. But the kind of men drawn to the guns always think they're going to live forever. Evans learned the realities of this new trade the hard way. Oh, okay. Nook, nods Evans. What brings you to these parts, he asks. His bolt-action rifle still pointed your way. Uh, why don't you point that someplace else, buddy? I got a job for you. A job? Evans pretends to think about it for a moment. Truth be told, I got a job for you, too. All you gotta do is stick around and watch my back while I deal with these thugs. You do that for me, I'll do whatever you need. Uh, what thugs? Jonas sent some thugs to harass Abe. He nods to the storekeep. Abe here went to the regulators, but Braxton said he can't spare any men. Um... Yeah, I'll see what transpires. I'll hang out. Okay. The gun thugs show up around noon. A man in his 40s who lives with slow confidence and a brash young man eager to get himself killed. You got Jonas's money? Demands the kid. Talking tough. The older man stays quiet, keeping his eyes on you and Evans. Um, out. I'm, we're done with this nonsense. Just kill him. Alright, so it's fighting time. Uh, Turn-based tactical, that kind of thing. Uh, we're gonna go and position ourselves. I think we're gonna go, like, let's deal with, let's, let's, like, stick together. Over there? And then, and then, and then me? Whoops. Over there? Yeah. Actually, I really have Evans. Evans should be in the front. I don't want to die. There we go. Okay, let's start combat. Alright, so, uh, the way this works, basically, we've got, we've got action points, we've got hit points, we've got guns, uh, and we've got things in our packs, like this. This is, um, this me? This is, this is a uh, old what's his face Evans. He has a very long rifle as well as a rounder. He's got a knife in his pocket as well and some guns or some bullets. Uh, and then we can spend some things. So it takes us three action points to move behind this thing here. For instance, we can shoot these guys as we walk. They get like reaction shots and all that. I think for now what we're gonna do though is just blast them. Let's work together. We'll just take out. Do you have regular shot or a snapshot? You can also just go straight for the head. pacifist run failed yeah yeah let's just blast them um i think it's yeah left click shoots right click moves don't get that mixed up i got it mixed up all the time when i was playing around this earlier let's switch over to what's this take this takes seven action points for one shot oh, that's fine we'll do one more and then we can move a couple spots uh oh out of ammo uh reload i still have seven i won't be able to move anymore that's fine moving's for cowards Okay, now it's my turn. Uh, I'm a coward. I'm going to move. Now, I have this little pistol on me, though. A suicide pistol is what it's called? Oh, I don't think I want to have that. Uh, I got one of those. I have a damaged energy pistol. I got a whole, I got all kinds of stuff. I have one called a boomstick. Why am I not using that? Uh, where's that? So, 1721 damage. This is 10 to 14. This is way yeah, let's go with the, uh, the old energy pistol. What am I using right now? 9 to 13. Action point cost is 5 versus the... Five. Yeah, switch this thing out. There we go. And am I using a knife or do I want to use a wrench? That's four action points to do that, so we're not going to do any more. Okay. Uh, let's just blast this guy then. Uh, reload. I have no ammunition for this gun. Okay, that was a big mistake. It's an energy pistol. It's damaged, I suppose. Just charge it up. Alright. Uh, um... To the boomstick. There we go. I blast him. There you go. There you go. Uh, I got four action points left. I can either shoot or I can move. Um, I don't want to die. Evans can die all he wants. But that's not my thing. So we're going to bounce back over here. You got this, Evans. Um, I don't want to <laughs> <don't wanna> watch. <laughs> you got this. Oh, nice job, Evans. Energy pistol has no ammo. It's the point of an energy pistol is to not have ammo. That's why you have energy pistols. Is he like shooting like a potato gun at me? Uh, we got forty. We got seventy-one percent chance on that guy over there. But I'm, we're dealing with this one here. Um, I would love to have had a grenade, but we don't have any of those. We have the options we have here is what is that one? I don't know what that one is. That options? Oh, journal. Uh, we can enter turn for like a bonus um, of of. Like reaction power or whatever. I think it's how that works. Um, let's go and let's just run over here. And let's just blast this guy. Yeah, take that, buddy. Oh, reload. Okay, one shot. Boink. Yep, got him with that old, uh, the old potato gun there. 
13, that's terrible. Why am I so bad? Um, that's not good at all. I gotta reload anyway, so let's reload. And we're taking it. You know what we could do? We could go and switch over to like a aim for the center mass. Does that change anything? Uh, it's not bad. 623. It's not as much damage, but he's already, he's already hurt. Okay. That was embarrassing, Nook. Let's go back to the old regular shop. 13%. There you go. He got the cabinet behind him. That was good. Um, and then we're done. Ooh. Dazed. Give Evans a blade to charge in. You're going to pay for this. Evans is angry. Um, let's see. So, I, I probably should move up here and help out all Evans here. I don't want to get shot, though. That'd be bad. Let's walk on over here. Reload the old gun. And 5%? That's terrible. Nice shot, buddy. Do it again. Uh, reload, and do it one more time. Nice shot! Okay, get back to your, your hole. And then Evans. This is your time, buddy. Reload. There you go, Evans. Okay, Evans, uh, I don't want you to die, so... Not yet, anyway. Why don't you come and... Can you, like, run over here? He can't shoot through there, right? There you go. Yeah, yeah, he, that's, that's... Cabinets. He can't shoot through that. Surely not. Oh, my head. Uh, ooh, ooh, ooh. If I step over here, though, reload the old shoddy. Yeah, there we go. Ooh, take that. And and another one of those. Um, oh, yeah. Okay, reload. Now I'm done. Evans. 46, I take it. Don't shoot. What's his face back there? I don't have action points to shoot this thing. Can you snap it? Nope, snap is six. So just just put it back to a regular shot. Um, yeah, just just stay there, cowardly. Uh oh. Okay. What's your chances on this one? Nine. But if we get up on him, we got uh, four action points to shoot. So if we get to like right, we got to reload. We're going right in the back. Your bald head over there. Blast this guy. 64%. He's right there. Just put the gun on his back. Grazed him. <laughs> that'll, that'll do. Okay. Uh, out of range. Well, he's not out of range. My knife. Get him. Hiya. Do it again. Oh, he's got one hit point. Fast stack has so many. Too, too many how many hit points? It takes four action points versus four. What does it say how many? So we'll just leave it at normal. What if I did that and nope? Okay, we'll leave it normal. Normal, normal. Ooh, a flurry. We should have done that one. Okay, you're done. Oh, you knocked me down. Is that all you got? He says. <laughs> I see stuff. Come on, Evans. I wanted you to hang out and join my party. There you go. Yeah, sit down. All right. Job's done. Evans' luck did uh, did run out in the first fights. If you still need someone to watch your back, you'll have to look elsewhere. So if I'd won that, or if Evans had won that, if he hadn't, you know, given up, then we could have had him join our party. But let's go rob this guy. Now, what you got there? Protective vest. I could use one of those. I'll take all that stuff. Uh, what's all, what's all Evans got here? Yeah, I'll take all your stuff, too. And we got this guy over here. He's got a, uh, he has a pistol as well, and a worker jacket. Okay. Um, I'd like to put some of this stuff on. I have a protective vest, so I don't need all that, but I've got this jacket here. Um, what's this one? This is worth 50. It is one melee, one projectile. This is one, one, and a little less sneaky. That's not good. Oh, can I wear it over? Oh, nice. Nice. Okay. Can I put this, like, in my belt? Or, um... I'll put that somewhere. Alright. 
Let's go chat with, uh, what's, what's his face? Oh, hey, Abe. I don't know how to thank you, Nook, he says, Abe, wiping sweat from his forehead. Those ruffians, they could have killed me dead. God knows I don't have much, but I'll give you all I can to spare and then some. Turns out Abe could only spare two small boxes of ammo, 50 rounds each, but it's definitely better than nothing. I'm going to help myself to some ammo. Abe doesn't leave you alone for a moment. Listen here, Abe. Um, I'd like to buy something. Do you think I can charge up my, um, my cool gun? No. Um, well, can I say some things? This is, this is, oh, this is me. This is him. Uh, there's a cell right there. Yeah, I like one of these. One of those, please. Um, you can have both of these. I got this extra gun laying around. I found. One of those. And electronic module. Swap a module that can be bring dead machinery back to life, even if temporarily, for a hundred bucks. Uh, yeah, I'll take it. And that's a cool looking vest. I'll take it. Okay. Alright, let's pop this stuff on the old body. I want this one instead. And we got a new gun now, because we can we can load the thing up, right? We can... Um, well, we'll hope it just reloads whenever we get into combat. Reload. There we go. Okay. Let's get out of here. Oh, hey, guys. Nothing to see here. Come on, come on. Oh, open the door. Where has this Captain Braxton once served a higher power than in the days before the crisis of faith? He was known as faithful gunner Jeremiah Braxton among the Church of the Elect. There's plenty of talk about why he left, but as it often the case, no story is more compelling than the others. Backed up by a few like-minded men and picking up more recruits along the way, Braxton left the church and wound up in the pits, where good fighting men are always in high demand. Around the same time, the Brotherhood was started nosing around, eager to establish a foothold here. Braxton and his regulars offered the good people of the pit their services. After much debate, they were hired to drive the Brotherhood's men out, which was accomplished with brutal efficiency. Thank God you're alive, says Braxton, holstering the gun. When I heard the gunfire, I assumed the worst. Thought you didn't want to get involved, Braxton. It's not my fight. I like your eye, says Braxton. But someone has to step in and protect these people. I have nothing against Jonas, but this time he's gone too far. What can I do? Quite a lot, actually. If we move against Jonas, he'll claim that the regulators were, are taking over and many would side with him. We don't want that. But you're one of them. If you challenge Jonas, people will side with you. Of course, we'll stand with you, but we'll stand with you, but it will be your fight. Uh, I'm in. Talk to Jonas. Put him on notice in front of everyone. Let them all hear what you have to say. Uh, when you know we're coming? We're not going to stab him in the back, Braxton says wrongly. A man deserves the right to defend himself. Okay. Okay. Um, let's go to the uh, the Holy Grail here and travel to the Armory first. Head on over this way. Let's go into this way. Head over to the Armory, which was... Uh, I don't know where that is. Um, oh, oh, armory. Yeah, let's bounce over here. Uh, with row to row of gutted depots, the armory stretches before you as a shell of what it once was. The mutineers hit it fast and hard, overrunning the surprise security forces and stripping it of, call of supplies. Weapons and armament for the future colony flooded the ship, turning the mutiny into a full-fledged war. The ship authority held its own in the end, keeping control of the lower decks, but at great cost. Let's explore this place. Okay. Yeah, yeah, let's go with, uh, take a look here. Can I turn my camera around? I can't turn my camera, but I can just sort of swerve it around. Um, alright. Let's go here first. Do the old control panel here. Dust cover control panel with remaining lights indicate it's still clean and alive. It would take more than a miracle. Um, I have a module. Let's replace the old module. Okay, let's check the monitor. Doesn't respond. Or else replace the monitor. Let's, let's replace it. No. <laughs> okay, we won't do that one just yet, I guess. So we won't walk on that. Okay, um, let's go check out this place. I hear growling. Squeeze through that door. Several 
devil frogs are tearing strips of flesh from a long dead corpse. Judging from the hole in its chest, it was a shotgun blast that did him in, not the frogs. A few years ago, you'd never see frogs outside of hydroponics, but the fungi must have driven them out. And now the mutant folks uh, skulk about wherever they can find rotting garbage, sometimes the human sorts. They rarely attack the living, so if you leave them alone, they'll do the same. Unluckily, they're squatting between you and the dead man's pockets and not likely to move without a fight. We'll just sneak past them. Oh, we actually have to sneak past them. Oh, that, those are them? Those things are terrifying. Yeah, they're bullfrogs. Okay, okay. Um, sneak on over here. Pass the turn. Easy does it. Nope, that was... Ah! In the eye? Oh, you, you dang frog. Oh, we're, we're gonna, this is where we die. Yep, it got me in the kneecap. Oh, man, I was an adventurer before, but now... 5% chance? I'm dead. <laughs> what am I gonna do with this? 5%! Uh, use the gun! Uh, where is my, um... Um, why is it so bad? Okay, stab. I can't. Run away! Um. Oh, I got him. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah. Um. Um. <laughs> this, is where, this is where it all ends. Frogs. I've died in a lot of games. I don't think I've ever been done in with frogs and candles. This is how you die, surrounded by these devil frogs, bred to keep pests from tearing crops on faraway Proxima. More of them must be coming now, crawling through the vents, hungry for a meal that will soon stop twitching. Oh, it didn't, it didn't autosave anything, did it? Someone just, just told me to make sure you autosave. <laughs> okay. Well, I guess there's colony ship. Man! Man! So yeah, so I I, th I think I gave a bit of a warning at the, end of the beginning of this. These folks, these devs that make this game, uh, Mage, Age of Decadence, where what, that was one of those games where like you don't want to go into combat unless you're like sure you can handle it. Otherwise, the frogs come out and take out your knees and your in uh, your eyes. Um, so yeah, it's uh, it's it's rough. You're not a hero. I, I kind of like those kind of games. The games that, that throw you into the deep end and just like to watch you get mauled by frogs. I'm all for that. But, uh, yeah, no auto save on this one anyway. So, there we go. There's Colony Ship, a post-Earth role-playing game. You know, I thought maybe it was about time to switch over to a different game. And, and um, we'll, we'll uh, go say a lot of some frogs. Iron Tower Studio, those are them. Um, oh, they made Dungeon Rats as well. Oh, yeah, I played I played that one also. I don't think I ever played Age of Decadent. Age of Decadent. I think I did. I don't own it, apparently. I thought I did, though. Um, anyway, so that one's coming out, uh tomorrow i guess technically and um we'll see how it develops i suppose so let's play something else um i got a giant um um list of things down here actually let me, let me pull up my my email here real quick because i want to see um this was i want to see what they said they gave me tips like to uh to to get through this and so you have three locations you get the pit um, the first quest goes to the armory, which is where we went. Uh, there's three party members we could get. We got Ev Evans, which we, we could have got. We failed because we died. Um, we could have gotten Jed if we asked Whiskey Jack for some work. He would have given us Jed, I guess. And then Faith is the sneaky one. She uh, apparently is at, is at Earl, wherever Earl is. So and I guess there's three guys that are up there in the early access thing. 